In this video, let's look at how to create a user group and configure the permission for that group. As you can see, I'm logged into our uh, access server um, admin UI. And at the time of this recording, we are on the version 2.11.3. In order to access the user group on the menu bar, you need to expand the user management and click on group permissions. As you can see, you are presented with the number of uh, uh, groups, the groups that we have already created. So in order to create a new one, we can click on this field where it says new group. I'm going to create a contractors group. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to type contractors. Now, once uh, done with the naming, you can click on more settings to uh, get uh, the rest of the permissions. So the very first thing is uh, user authentication method. Uh, the system uh, default authentication method is SAML. But uh, for the contractors, since these uh, people are going to be contractors and temporary positions, uh, we're going to choose local. The next step, if uh, we want to enable multi-factor authentication or we want to keep it disabled, I'm going to enable it for this group. Then if we want to allow password changes and if we want to enable password strength checking, we can click yes on these two boxes. If we want to assign any particular subnet to this VPN group, uh, we can uh, type the address or the subnet here. Even if we want to do a dynamic subnet range, we can do that here. For the purpose of this video, we're going to leave this blank here. The next step is going to be the access control. This is where we're going to uh, configure the access permissions. In our environment, we have multiple networks and multiple subnets. The contractors need to have access to only one of our subnets. So I'm going to go ahead and type that subnet here so we can give permissions to this subnet. They also need to have access to uh, our time server. And uh, um, I'm going to type the IP address for the time server. And I'm going to add the port that they need to have access to. So again, they need to have the access to the time server so they can enter their time. Now, the following field, if we want to allow access to any of the existing groups, we can select that here. And if we want to allow access to any of our existing users, we can select that here. Now, when it comes to client scripting, this is where we can create any type of scripts if we need to. For example, if we want to add any environment variables uh, while they're logging in or connecting to the access server, we can add those variables here. For example, for Windows, we can select Windows and then type the variable and value here and save settings. If we want to add any type of user connect, user disconnect, admin connect, type of um, scripts, we can click on that and type our scripts here and then save settings. So we don't have any scripts here, so I'm going to click no here. And then once we're happy with everything, I'm going to click on save settings and then update running server. Contractors uh, group is created and it's here. Now, if you want to allow auto login, we can come and check this box for the group. At any time, if you need to deny access to a group, we can come and check the box for deny access. And if we decide to delete the group completely, we can check this box under the delete and then save settings to delete the uh, contractors.